Hello everybody. Today is the 19th of November 2021 and today Kyle Rittenhouse has been found not guilty. Now before I get into this and it's not going to be a super long rant or anything I am not I, I will admit I have not been following this case really at all. I have seen snippets of it on various news channels and uh, political commentators and stuff like that. So I, I know a little about it. I know the gist of what happened. And obviously today, you know, I'm scrolling through a news feed, found not guilty. So I'm not going to give a whole huge, this is why they're wrong, this is why they're right, because frankly, I am not that uh, experienced with the case. But here's what I will say. Essentially, back last year, from what I understand, he had an AR-15 and basically shot and killed two um, protesters in a, I believe it was a police, I'm going to sound bad for saying this, I, I believe it was a police rally, something like that. I, it might have had to do with Black Lives Matter, I'm not sure. But long, long of the short of it is he shot and killed two people with an AR-15. He claims it was self-defense. His attorney claims it was self-defense. A lot of people said, hell no, it's not. You shot and killed two people. Now, obviously they found him not guilty. Now, there's proof to say that he obviously did it, but I've also seen that there's proof that says he hasn't done it. I don't really know. I'll be completely honest. I mean, there seems to be a lot of evidence that he did it, so there's that. I've seen some evidence about why he hasn't, but... I have also seen a lot on why he has. What I think is, one, I am not surprised that he was found not guilty. However, it's interesting because I, I noticed there seemed to be a common theme between people. A lot of the far right-wing uh, conservative Republicans seem to say, oh, he's not guilty, no guilty, no guilty. Meanwhile, a lot of the, the more left voting, uh, Democrat, liberal, um, I guess socialist too, you know, the, the more liberal side of people, guilty, 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 guilty. I don't know if that really uh, has anything to do with it, but that's something I've noticed. I've seen it on uh, CBC, ABC, uh, saw about it on Fox, saw Ben Shapiro talking about it, a couple other ones. And, you know, I watch Ben Shapiro pretty regularly. Uh, I think he's a pretty cool guy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there, but obviously the you know there's political divide in it, whatever. Even though it's really not totally political from what I understand, but I I was watching the news tonight. It was ABC because my my father turned it on. He wanted to talk. He wanted to hear about it. And they posed an interesting claim. If Kyle Rittenhouse was black, or rather. If a black man committed the same crime, the same statistics, the, the, the same layout, the same everything, if everything was the same except the uh, Kyle Rittenhouse or whoever was black, he would have been convicted. Absolutely. I, there is no doubt in my mind that if he was black or Indian or Asian, but specifically because, you know, last year with what happened with George Floyd and all that, if he was black, he would have been found guilty. I can almost guarantee that. It's just the state of our fucked up political system. Not, what am I talking about? Police system, conviction system, justice system, whatever. It's biased towards white people. With that said, I would have been pretty surprised, actually, if he was found guilty. Not that I don't believe he is guilty, because frankly, I don't know. But I kind of, I, I, I was pretty, pretty damn sure in my head that he was going to be found not guilty. Now, does this give justice to the two, the families of the two people? I forgot their names. I'm sorry. I'll put them right about here. The names of the two people that were uh, basically fucked, I guess you could say. Does this give justice to their families? Hell no, it doesn't. Hell no. Granted, I did see a comment from a political uh, spectator, political commenter, who may be a woman, uh, may also be on the conservative side. Not going to go any farther than that. Uh, essentially, it was a comment on Twitter saying that one of the uh, one of the uh, one of the victims had committed some 
uh, very disgusting acts involving children and sexual pleasures uh, and rape. Whether this is true or not, I don't know. I actually have not researched it, but I did look at it. I was thinking, hmm. Normally, you know, if political candidates, if one party wins, the other party is either going to make up shit or they're going to start spreading shit that could be a rumor, it could not be, about the other side. But this, uh, this political commentator is part of the side that agreed with the jury. So I don't really know about that supposedly was doing some things with some children. Yes, no, maybe so, I don't know. But I am going to look it up after I'm done making this video. So, are they wrong? Are they right? Quite frankly, I don't know. And I, I really cannot go much farther than that with an opinion because I don't know. The George uh, Floyd trial there seemed to be enough evidence to prove he was guilty. There seems to be a lot of evidence now to prove he's guilty. The George Floyd trial, I almost immediately said, he's innocent. And the reason I said he's innocent, obviously talking about uh, Derek Chauvin, is I had seen all the evidence and I said, there's enough evidence to support the fact that he could have died from another cause. Granted, very likely that he died because, um, I can't think of his name, Derek Chauvin was you know, kneeling on his neck. And, you know, that's horrible. But it's, it's a similar case. It, it reminds me in my head so much of the Derek Chauvin trial and the, the uh, death of George Floyd. It reminds me so much of that for some reason. And it's weird because it's not even a similar thing. You know, one person died because, you know, they were being kneeled on and taken advantage of. Another person died because some idiot with an AR-15 shot them because of self-defense. If it was truly self-defense, so be it. But... I, I really have to wonder. I really, really have to wonder about it. And I'm going to do some more research after, uh, after I make this. This is going to be uploaded tomorrow, but it's an interesting thought. And it's something I've been thinking about all night. And it's, I keep coming back to the jury is the jury. They are going to be as non-biased as possible, but they're going to be heavily influenced by people on this side saying guilty, this side saying not guilty. You know, they clash together. But that's where we're at right now. He has been found not guilty. Of course, if you watch the video of him reacting, he almost faints to the ground. He's, you know, crying, shaking as they read him his sentence. He's, I mean, he's shitting his pants. He's fucking terrified. I mean, if you were, you know, in the hot seat in court and you were about to be convicted of killing two people with an AR-15, you'd be shitting your pants too. And then to find out you're not guilty, there I mean, it's like God is smiling on you. Again, I am not going to say he's not guilty, but I'm not going to say he's guilty either. Similar with the Derek Chauvin thing. At this point, we have enough evidence to say he may have done it. Still a little bit that says he didn't. And immediately when it happened, I said he's not guilty. Little change since then. I think we're still. I'm. I'm leaning towards. It's. It's a middle. It's a middle ground. Enough about George Floyd. Rest in peace. And Derek Chauvin. Well, I don't know. Go fuck yourself. Something like that. But that's where we're at with uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. Rest in peace to the victims. You know, nobody deserves to die. No matter what you do, even if he did rape the children. He doesn't deserve to die. Now, granted, he would have been raped in prison because child molesters and child rapists are the lowest fucking people in prison. He would have been raped, absolutely, maybe even killed. But the reason he doesn't... Here's the reason that these people don't deserve to die. One, they're innocent people. If, they were, if this guy who raped the children was going to go to jail, then he needs to feel that punishment. You know... If he dies, he's dead. He doesn't, he doesn't get any, he doesn't feel the pain that he was putting other people through. He's in jail. He's getting raped up the ass in the showers because he raped some kids. He's feeling that pain physically and being punched and bruised in the jail. He's feeling that pain physically that he caused to those people. That's why Michigan doesn't have the death penalty. There are very, very few times that I see news stories where I say, yeah, I wish we had the death penalty for that. Very few. But enough about that. I'm going to conclude this video. Post your thoughts down below because I'd like to know, truthfully, what, what you think. 
And there you go. That is my opinion on the, uh, or rather my, I guess you could more say comments because I don't really have an opinion on the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see and follow me on the web, wix.com slash theelevatorworld slash fans. Bye-bye.